Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my Pride 2020 makeup look. I did a rainbow cut crease using the new Morphe 10G Glisten Up palette. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and click the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. So if you want to see how I got this Pride look, just keep watching. Okay, so I already have my base done just because we're focusing on the eyes today and I didn't want to take too much time on my face. But I also have my Pride earrings on. I got these last year at Forever 21. I think they're super cute. And then I also have my Pride top, so it's rainbow on the side. So I think this is super cute. So I bought this year's Pride palette from Morphe. It's this 10G Glisten Up in collaboration with Glisten. I am so excited to use this palette, but if you didn't already know, they are only toppers, so they're all glitter shades. So I'm gonna go in with my matte shades first, and then I'm gonna put these on top. So first I'm gonna be going in with the James Charles palette. The shades are so pretty and pigmented in this palette. So I'm gonna apply all the colors matte with this palette, and then I'm gonna go in with the Glisten palette. And for my red, I think I'm actually gonna do a pink red. So I have this fluffy pencil brush, and I'm gonna take the reddish orange shade, and I'm gonna get that, tap it off. And then I'm also gonna dip it into the pink shade. And then I'm gonna start down here just cause I wanna have enough room to create the whole rainbow to out here. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm just gonna start building it up. And you don't wanna start too heavy, you just wanna kinda build up the color just because it's easier to build up the color than take away. So I'm just gonna keep doing the same process until I get the color I want. Okay, so this is the first shade right now. I really like it. It's in between a hot pink and a red, but I didn't really blend anything right now. I'm just kind of shaping that cut crease all the way across, and then we'll go in and blend a little bit. But since this is a cut crease, we don't want it super blended. So I cleaned my brush. I'm gonna use the same one, and I'm gonna go in with orange. And I'm taking it just slightly on top, just so that it blends easy. And then just continuing that shape. And since we do have the other palette, I'm not gonna worry too much about making the colors too pigmented because then once I add the toppers, they might be way too pigmented. So I'm just gonna make sure I get a nice color that I want so we can top it off later. Okay, so next I'm gonna use this yellow shade right here and continuing the same process. So once I get to yellow, I wanna make sure that I'm at a pretty good spot on my eye. So I don't want the yellow to end out here. So every color we're doing, we're just making sure it's a small little section and not taking up too much space so we can fit all of the colors. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with green. I'm gonna take these two greens and mix them together. And then once you get to around here, you're gonna wanna start making like a little dip. So that way the cut crease goes like that. So we're blending it into the yellow a little bit and then dipping it a little bit. So we're not going straight up into our brow. We're kind of going like that. So we want to start creating that shape. Okay, next is blue. I'm going to mix again. I'm going to use these two shades right here. And I'm mixing just because I don't necessarily want this bright of a color. I don't want this dark of a color. So that's why I've been mixing shades. So we're just continuing to make it go in that direction. So on this step, you kind of want to make sure that we go down enough and start going to the side because we have one more color left, which is purple, and that's going to be the little flick. So we want to already start creating that little curve. Okay, and last is purple, of course. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm not going to mix this one just because I think that purple is nice enough. And then I just want to make sure I dab it to blend it in a little bit. And then we want to make sure that it does a little, a little flick. Okay, so now we're done with putting all of the matte colors on there. Now I'm gonna go in with a small clean brush and I'm just gonna try to blend as much as I can. And I don't mean blend like blend it into your eyebrow. I'm just trying to blend the colors together. And then over here where you can tell that I separated the colors, like I packed them on at different times, we kinda wanna blend that a little bit together, but we still want that clean space above. Okay, so I already think that looks really pretty. I'm already really happy with it. And now I'm gonna go in with the toppers from the Pride palette. And just look at the packaging. I love it, it's so pretty. Look at those shades. They are so beautiful. 
So this first row is pretty much all shimmer eyeshadow shades and then this bottom row is all pressed glitters. This is a really pretty palette. It's obviously not a complete palette just because there are no matte shades. So if you just try to make a look with these, it'd be very light and very sheer. So that's why I went ahead and did the mattes first. But I know every year they come out with colorful palettes. So I think that's why this year they just wanted to make toppers. And I think they're so pretty. So let's just try them out. So pretty much we're just adding the topper on for each of the colors. And I'm just going to go in with a flat packing brush. So I'm going to go in with all the top eyeshadows since those are really like buttery and smooth. So I'm just going to start by going in with the pink shade and then adding it on top. I don't know if you can already see, but this is very different than the pink I already had. And it's also a very light pink. So I feel like if I would have made a look with just this palette, the colors on my eyes wouldn't have been as bold and bright. Okay, I think that actually looks really pretty together. And that color was called Keep It Kind. Now we're gonna go in with the orange shade Blaze A Trail. And this one does look actually a little bit glittery. So we're just going to add that to where the orange goes. Yeah, that's super glittery, but it's so buttery. So I really like that. Okay, now we're going to go in with Shine Hope, which is this pretty yellow color. Oh, and this is a nice, pretty glittery one, just like the orange. Okay, and for the green with the James Charles palette, I'm going to use the shimmer shade in green, which it's a darker green, but I think it should be fine. I'm gonna add that on top, which it does make it a little bit more shiny. It's not very really glittery, but it kind of matches the way that the pink is foiled. So I think that's okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this pretty blue color called Inspired Change. And this one seems to be like the pink shade where it's very pretty and foiled, but it doesn't really have glitter to it. So I don't really know how I feel about every color being randomly a different formula. I really don't know if I like it or hate it. Okay, and then lastly, we're gonna go in with the purple shade called Accept Everyone. And this does look like it has some glitter to it. It looks like the ones with glitters, but when it's showing up on my eye, it's looking more foiled and not that glittery. But it's pretty glittery in the pan. Okay, I see some glitter coming off on this side, which is weird because this side doesn't have any. Okay, I added some glitter on this side. It's not as glittery as these. I would say it's between the glitters and the foils. Okay, so we're done with the top, and even though they are different formulas, I still think it looks really pretty once it's all together. Okay, so now's the scary part. We're gonna go in with concealer. I'm using Shape Tape and a flat concealer brush, and now we're just gonna create that cut crease. So I forgot to mention this already, but I just found out that San Antonio Pride is canceled. Well, not canceled, but they turned it into like a virtual Pride, which I mean, I was expecting it to get canceled. We all were, but it's just not official until you hear it. So yeah, it got canceled and I'm pretty sad. I've been for the past two years. So yeah, I'm pretty sad. I love going to Pride. It's so fun, but that's okay, you know, with everything that's going on, that'd be way too many people out and close to each other. So of course that makes sense to do that. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So I think this is so pretty already. I would totally just wear this out, you know, pop on some lashes and that's it. But since the palette does come with some pressed glitters, we are gonna add that on the lid. So we have all of these to choose from. And I really don't know what to pick. I really like these pretty colors, but I feel like I want it to be very neutral. So I might pick one of these, but I don't know. They're also pretty. So we're gonna do Dream Big. It's a silver color. And first I'm gonna go in with the NYX glitter primer and I'm just gonna put some of that on my fingers. Okay, I'm switching back to this concealer brush to even out the glue because when you get to the edges, like up here, you wanna make sure the glue is on the edges so that it's not all crazy with the glitter. You want the glitter to be in like certain spots. And I'll add the glitter. 
I thought it wouldn't go on well with a brush just because these glitters usually go on better with a finger. But with this cut crease, it's gonna start to get very sloppy if I use my finger. But it's going on pretty well with the brush. This look is so pretty, but after I film this, sadly I'm gonna have to take it back off because Amanda wants to take me on a date tonight and I'm not gonna wear this. Okay, and now I'm just gonna clean up the sides with some concealer. So I'm gonna take a flat brush, just put some on and then clean up this side. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on lashes. I found these Pride Edition Eyler lashes. They're in Spirit Limited Edition, and they're purple. So I thought that was so pretty. So they're black and purple. They had different colors. I think they had orange, green, blue, and purple. So I got the purple ones. So I'm just gonna pop these on, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are done, and I think the eyes look so pretty. This is exactly what I wanted it to look like. So I'm super happy with it. But now I'm going to finish it off with the lips. Okay, so for lip liner, I'm gonna go in with a MAC lip liner and strip down. And I'm just gonna fill in my lips like regular. Okay, and then on top, we're gonna take the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk and top it off. I decided this would be really pretty because it does have some glitter in it and I thought it would match the look so perfectly. Okay guys, and that is it. I really love this look. I love how it came out. I didn't do it before. I just kind of thought about what I wanted in my head and just went with it. But I really enjoyed doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel and I will see you in the next video.